is Amberly Snyder. I am a barrel racer and motivational speaker. You know, junior high rodeo days up into high school and competed in doing what I love to do. Growing up, it was just, just pick me up from school, take me to the horses, and I rode till dark. So January of 2010, I was offered a job in Denver, Colorado. I was going through Sinclair, Wyoming, when I had looked down to check my map. When I looked up, I'd faded over a lane and was heading towards a metal beam on the side of the road. So I grabbed my wheel to correct my truck and it just sent me sliding across the highway. We ended up rolling and when I rolled, I was ejected at 70 miles an hour, hit a fence post on the side of the road across my stomach, which is what broke my back. Five hours of surgery, uh, they cut me open pretty far and I have two rods in my back and 14 screws that just stabilizes all the way down. The very first time I came back into my room, I had everything of my life sprawled around my room on the floor, and I literally sat here and felt like I was looking at the pieces of my life, and I couldn't even pick them up. I tell you, I try to forget what those feelings are like, because they're really dark, but so heavy that you don't even know how to move. It's, it's just that heavy, I think, of a feeling. Yeah. You know, it hits you that the last time you were here, you were walking. I sat at that door and just cried. I told my mom, sell my horses. I'm, I'm not gonna do this anymore. My whole life that I had planned on, that I have worked for, is now done. I described myself on what I won, on what I accomplished, on what buckle came. Like, this was my value. This, this is who I am. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute. So if I can't do that, then who, who am I? We still don't even talk about how dark that was. That was one of the hardest moments, but also one of the coolest moments in the sense of as I was sitting really like where you are and I had a problem seeing to look behind me and my scriptures are sitting by my bed and a problem to open them up and not only had I bookmarked but I'd highlighted a scripture right before I left that is Luke 1 37 that is with God nothing is impossible Stacy my coach said, we found somebody in Arizona that has a seatbelt on his saddle. Let's put a seatbelt on your saddle. I went out with my little sister and my brother and it was perfect. It was where I was meant to be. It was where I was going to be and nothing was going to keep me from it again. 2015 was a huge turning point for me when I ran in the American. I did not win the American, but I did run two tenths off of the reigning world champion. So that was a definite turning point for me to realize not only could I do this, but I could run with the best out there. I mean, it's it, like some of the little kids that I've met that have been in a chair their whole life and they felt like because of that, they couldn't be something. But then they see me and they see me in my chair and they say, oh no, if Amberly can do it, then I'm gonna ride horses. Or if Amberly can do this, then I'm gonna do something else that I love. You know, I had a, a boy message me and say that he'd written his suicide letter. And then he heard me speak and decided that that was not the road he was going to go down. I'm reminded very constantly of keep doing what you're doing. I don't have to question why I am who I am. I want to be independent. I've always wanted to be independent. That's how I've been my whole life. From, my, from the time I was seven years old with my own barrel horses, I did everything. So of course, after my accident, my mentality didn't change. I want to be able to saddle my own horse, ride on my own horse, 
load my own horse in a trailer. I want to be able to do all of those things. And nothing has been built for me to do that. And when I was younger, we've always seen heart trailers and just been like, I hope one day we have a heart. Tracy is amazing, of course. And when she learned about my story and what we wanted to accomplish, she was completely for it and wanted to make everything possible that she could. I wanted to be able to tie my horses up, wanted to be able to get in and out of my tack room, so I told her I want the smart tack. I wanted the carousel still. I wanted things to be able to be accessible. I wanted to be able to load and unload my own horses. I'm the only paralyzed barrel racer in the entire United States. So there was nobody I could hit up and say, hey, how did you make this work? It's so frustrating when we pull to a rodeo and I have to have a team do everything and I literally have to just sit there. I can't unload, I can't pull out the ramp, I can't grab a horse and take it somewhere, I can't reach buckets, I mean just the whole scenario. And now when we pull to a rodeo, I get a job like everybody else. Now I'm getting a trailer built that's gonna be completely accessible and one of its kind to allow me to be even more successful than what I've been able to be otherwise. Well, today's the day Amberly's here. We're gonna show her her trailer and all the wonderful things that we've done to make this trailer perfect for her and give her the ability to go chase her dreams. She has the independence that she wants to be able to chase the dreams and do the things that mean the most to her and her life goals. And to get to be a part of that, uh, it was just a true blessing. Oh, it is beautiful. It's just been truly a labor of love. I don't know that I have ever prayed over a horse trailer more than I have her trailer, but uh, God just directed our path in, in all of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is the first trailer I've ever been able to wheel in by myself that I'll be able to load and unload my own horses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of floating on clouds that I get to do that now. I don't get that with my horses very much. Like I don't get to, I don't get to go out with my horses and load my horses and haul my horses by myself. That's just not something that has been in my realm. Um, so to have people who want to give me that, just thankful, very, very, very thankful. We took the saddle racks. We make it where it can slide in and out. She can get her saddle. She can get her tack. Everything is just right there at her hands, right at her level. No, this is beautiful. We weren't so positive. Um, if it was gonna work, I'm being able to pull my saddle to myself um, because I can't really lift it and set it back in and pull it out. But of course, when I told Hart that, then we figured out a way for me to be able to load and unload my saddle at my height and at my capability. So that's perfect. So beautiful. Seriously, thank you so much for even just believing in me to do this. Because that means the world. So thank you for that. And I just am going to be crying again, so <laughs> that just doesn't do anybody any good. For us, it was really more than just building and designing a living quarters. We were building Amberly a home that gave her all the tools to achieve her goals of being more independent and a professional barrel racer. Are you ready? Whenever you're ready. Okay.
Amberly's design process was a little bit unique compared to um, a normal living quarters build just because we had to make sure that the space worked for her. So, of course, having your own trailer and being a girl, you have to have lots of room. So, Signature made sure that I can reach all of this wardrobe. And I was pretty specific about things I wanted. I only wanted one burner in my trailer and I wanted it to not be a fold down. Um, I wanted it to just sit right on the top. Same with my microwave, right? Microwaves are always up high, which doesn't work for me. So I asked to have a microwave down low. So one of the coolest parts about my house at home is my retractable shelf. And I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to put it into a trailer. But of course, when you tell Signature you want something, they say okay. So this is my shelf in my trailer so I can reach it. This is the most custom couch you will ever see in your life is the couch that's in my trailer. Like I feel like that's the shot we're all looking for. <laughs> this is the one of the coolest surprises was this door that folds both directions, which makes it super easy for me to transfer and not have to try to scoot around a door. That's pretty special in itself. I mean, for 10 years to be in a wheelchair and never have a shower that is this accessible is impressive on Signature's part. Like, I mean, Abby did a phenomenal job making it be beautiful. And yeah, I mean, obviously I have to have enough space to be able to do what I need to do and move around where I need to move around. And this has that. So that's pretty incredible that I'll be able to get up on my bed in the neck of a trailer that I've not ever been able to do before. Can you believe this is mine? <laughs> This is just mine. <laughs> I am just really lucky, really, really thankful that <sighs> just this whole trailer. I mean, tell you want to talk about something that you've just dreamed about having. I mean, not even, not even just since my accident, right? Like just something you dream of having. Any type of a cowgirl wants to have their own trailer, right? their own house on wheels, and and I finally have one that is mine. <laughs> that I get to do what I want to do, and I get to take my horses along with it. So, <sighs> not everyone gets that, and I'm lucky enough that I do. I would like to thank Amberly for trusting us at heart and giving us this opportunity and this chance to build her this trailer. We have enjoyed every moment and getting to know her and, and she is just an amazing lady and we just feel very blessed to be a part of her life and a part of her journey. If I think back to Amberly as a little kid, the dreams of the NFR, pro rodeo on, being this person with my horses has never changed. Allowing that person to still exist required a trailer that allowed me to still be independent. It gives me the ability to fulfill all of those goals that I've had my entire life. It was a little bit different how I got there, but the independence, the hard work, the perseverance, all of that effort is now going to be possible.